Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another amazing video where I'll be showing you how to connect your KuCoin account to your TradingView account. And once you have your KuCoin account connected to your TradingView, you can now be able to automate your trades and also automate your alerts. And having said all that, let me jump straight into the video. And before I do that, make sure that you first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And for those that don't have a KuCoin account, make sure that you use the link in the description box to create your own account. And all you need to do is type on your browser tradingview.to uh, dot anywhere and this is the platform that you should be redirected to and i'll be leaving a link in the description box which you can use to get to that page then once you you are on the dashboard you tap on the platforms and once you tap on that you should get to this page where you are able to select the kucoin connect over here by just tapping on that icon down there and on this page you have instructions that you need to follow for you to be able to connect to your KuCoin account where you first need to have a KuCoin account. So you first need to create a KuCoin account and also verify your account and also connect it with your verification. That is give it some security measures. Once you are done with that, you can come to this page and tap on the next icon. Then you can see that the next process is to get your KuCoin API API key. So I need to go to my uh, KuCoin account to get my API key. And to do that, you can just tap on this icon, which is right here, where you can see that on the drop down, I have the API services. So I can use that uh, option that is right here once I tap on this drop down that is right here, or maybe tap on the profile icon then go to the api management page so i'll be using that page that is the api management page and on this page you can see that on the api management i can create the spot and margin apis or maybe the futures apis so depending on which one you want to create you select that appropriately then for me i'll be using the spot api I tap on the create API where I need to first provide the API name. We can give that API the name KuCoin test. You can give it that name. Then down there you need to provide an API passphrase. That is a password to that API. And you need to note that API because you are going to need it on the trading view uh, page. Then on the restrictions page you can tick on this trade icon which is right here where you are able to perform operations such as trading uh, that is order placement and order cancellations using the api then on the transfer option that is not uh, recommended then you can also restrict the api that is the ip address that can be able to use uh, your api and on the trading view page you can see that there's this api that you have been told to restrict it to so i can copy that api then i paste it over here then i need to tap on the add option then tap on next then confirm that you are not a robot so once you're done with that you need to go through the very so that is the security verification where you first need to provide the trading password so you need to set a trading password then uh, provide these codes that will be sent to your email address and also, and the google two-factor authenticator so once you're done with going through the security verification you can see that an email was sent to my to my email so i need to check my email so on my email i need to activate that api by tapping on that link on this page you can see that my api has been created where I have the API name, the key, and the uh, and the secret key. So I need to go back to my trading view page where I need to copy the API key. So I need to copy this API key that has been provided over here, then paste it on this page, then tap on next, then go back and get the security key. I copy that also, paste it over here. Then I tap on next. Then I need to provide the API passphrase that I provided when I was uh, creating the API. Once you provide the API passphrase, you need to state whether your API is a futures API or not. Mine was not, so I don't tick on this page. So I tap on next. 
then I give it uh, that is I customize my webhook by giving it a name. I can give it KuCoin test as the name. Then I tap on finish. And now you can see that I've managed to successively create my API and also connect my KuCoin account to my TradingView account. And now I can check the balance on my account. So on my account, I have some TRX and we can confirm that by getting to the assets page where you can see that on my trading account i have a balance of 14 trx so we can check that balance using our trading view account by just typing in a command balance trx so once i type in balance trx which is a command and trx is the coin that i have in my account and then send the test you can see that i'm receiving an alert message up here saying that my balance is 14 trx which is the same as what i have in my kucoin account and for those that might have other coins like usdt you just need to type in balance usdt if you have usdt or maybe the other coin that you have then send a test and once you do that uh, you'll be receiving an alert message giving you the balance that you have in your KuCoin account and that's how you automate your trades and also your alerts here on TradingView uh, that is on KuCoin using your TradingView account and I hope that video was of much help to you and if it was make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and that's all for this video.